Hi, welcome to Witchcrafton. My name is Aquarius, and today I'm going to share with you some of my craft books and books where I've learned how to make different things. And let's get started. This is Crafts for the Spirit 30 Beautiful Projects to Enhance Your Personal Journey. This was given to me by one of my friends here at YouTube. And if you would like to go ahead and subscribe now, we would sure love that and appreciate your subscription here at Witchcrafton. In this book, there's lots of different projects for you to do. There's a bottle tree, an amulet bag, dream doll, a hope vessel, how to make a wisdom book, um, how to make a small shrine. There are crafts in here for um, that would take a kiln and my local make and bake pottery shop is closed. Hopefully it, one will reopen soon. Um, but I don't have access to a kiln. But there's all kinds of different things in here. I personally love these beaded bottles. I used to make these. I'm going to hopefully make some soon. In this book you'll find all kinds of different things. Here's the door to perception. Some people will hang these around their altar. If they have their altar like in a great big room on one side they might separate it with this or put up a doorway. And this is just about creating like sacred space. And there's all kinds of different things in here like really beautiful things to make so if you like wanted to learn how to make things there's the all the directions and materials all the materials I'm not sure if it's focused or not but all the materials and the tools and the instructions for how to make this small shrine but everything like that is in this The uh, I'm sorry the whole book is like this the materials and the tools and the instructions this is a really great book but you can see there's tons of stuff in here. There's even furniture. If you're interested, it's really beautiful. This is a different kind of book. This is a book that I grew up with. And it's um, Crafts for All Seasons. And let's make sure you can see. And it teaches you how to do pretty much anything. Weaving, how to make a belt, crocheted hat, how to crochet or um, embroider tablecloths, how to do embroidery, how to make stuffed animals, one room dollhouse, how to make silhouettes. I want to make a fairy silhouette and a skeleton silhouette. And, um, how to cozy up your kitchen, how to grow bean sprouts, how to make a recipe book, how to make a memo board, hang it on a heart, bring more love into your kitchen, decorating with granny squares, how to make a granny square, oh, how to make a sachet ball, sweet smells, and glass painting, reverse glass painting. some boxes, how to make the boxes, monograms, so there's all kinds of different books out there. This is another good one, this is called Spell Crafts, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. This book tells you so many different things, from how to make a potpourri, Flower Gardens, Magic Mirror, Corn Mother, Psychic Mandela, Spell Banners, and then the last part is colors, shells, herbs, stones, feathers, and wood, and like what the elements are for the woods, different things. This is a great book. There's a candle. <laughs> So 
So there's recipes, um, how you sew the beads on for your mandala. That's how to make a money pinnacle. A, B, C, D, E. From protection plaque. Divination dice. What they mean. We know them as ruins. You might know this is the God's Eye. Shaman Zero. Sand painting for pour the sand. This is um this is coloring salt so that you can use salt instead of sand. Some people will use chalk color the sand, different colors. And that's the prosperity. And the corn mother, which um, some of us call corn dolly. Purification broom, which some of us Call it besom we use for cleansing. Protection hex, which you will find these in Pennsylvania and Ohio and Indiana. The Amish, the Dutch Amish, put these on their homes to protect themselves from witches. And the spell banner. We draw a ruin on each piece of paper. Spell bottles. The house protection one. A flower garland. And a garland you can make to make for a crown around your head for your high priestess or high priest or for yourself. And this is the storing of the potpourri and the using of the potpourri and how to find the ingredients and mixing the potpourri and then recipes, money potpourri, protection potpourri, love potpourri, psychic potpourri, healing potpourri, encourage potpourri. And then we go on to the magic mirror. Spell boxes. Wheat reeds, braiding the wheat, cutting the wheat, health dolly, and see here this is where you'll find different colors, what they mean the different shells. Sand dollars wisdom. I also find those to be money. Two of the shells, I also find those to be I mean money. Yeah, I also find those to be wisdom and health. Herbs and stones. Sorry. Feathers. Woods, what the woods mean. This is called Wicca Craft. Let me zoom in a little bit. And what I wanted to share in this one is the witch's kitchen. And it has all these goddess incenses, horn god incense. Egyptian love incense, 
frankincense, ecate incense, incense of good omen, lamas ritual potpourri, goddess oil, good luck oil, hoodoo oil, spirit oil, witches flying ointment recipes, gypsy's witch love potion, wiccan hand fasting cake, old fashioned witch soap, And in a book, this is called Life Magic, The Power of Positive Witchcraft. There's two things I'd like to show in this book. The symbolism of numbers. And this book is quite beautiful. and healing spells it's so beautiful healing puppets Ain't they cute? And then love spells. And this book I just got. I love it. It's awesome. Hopefully you can see all of it. Song spells. How to do song spells. All about it. Wine libation recipes, midsummer wine, Feltane mead, Samhain absinthe, midwinter mulsa, quicker alternatives, summer ale, Samhain absinthe, midwinter mulsa. This book I have found to be beneficial in my candle making. I love this book. And it gives you all the information. And safety is so important. Please be safe. Oh, sorry, it's not even. Let me zoom out. Okay. Make sure you get this. Okay. And about different waxes, what happens about different wicks, what we use different wicks for, about molds, about additives, colors, 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 oils, aromatherapy, fragrances, priming the wick, how to do it all, how to do it the right way, easy way, cheap way, at home. How to make simple pillars beautiful. Of 
corrugated pillar. The corrugated cardboard. Dip tapers. Beeswax, rolling them. Making it with balloon, flower, sand, floating candle, gel candles. Yeah, this book is awesome. Even goes into a little bit of color theory. The meanings and symbolism of color. And then fragrance blending. This book has been a great book for me. The next book is Gypsy Love Magic by R Dr. Raymond Buckland from Ohio. And in this book, he teaches us how a gypsy makes clothes and corn dollies. And then, what we do. This is called Reclaiming the Power, Lady Sabrina. This has got severe sun damage on the cover, but that's okay with me. Here also, how to make a corn baba. And also, here in True Magic, I just wanted to share that knowledge can come from books, caution, and discrimination are the watchwords here. Since there is a great deal of trash published on the subject of magic, recipe books of spells and incantations are of little use until you understand the way magic works and have developed basic skills such as Visual, vis, <laughs> visual, visual, ah, ha, ha. visualization, concentration, and channeling energy. Avoid completely any book which offers spells to dominate and manipulate others. For some good beginning text, see the recommended book list in the appendix. This is of books. Now that is how I find books, is I will find a book that I love, like this book, and you will um, be able to write the author, you will see other books by the author, acknowledgments, table of contents, about you and magic. This is my um, second book ever, and I did write in it. This is about evaluating teachers and if they charge you money, and if they are greedy and corrupt. But what I wanted to show you is um, this is the, um, like back here, sorry, this is 
trying not I'm trying not to get overexcited. I love this book so much. You don't even know how much I love this book. Okay, so if you hear someone use a word and you don't know what it means, you might not want to look it up on the internet because there's so much crap on the internet, just like this author was saying about other books. Personally, in my, point, my opinion, you want to look for an onk, a moon, or an H. I'm sorry, you want to look for a moon, an onk, or an H, for the most part. Most part, if you don't know what kind of book you want to get. And so if you don't know what the words mean, here's a, a glossary that will tell you what the words mean instead of looking them up online. Some people are just making things up. So that will give you a good definition or a pointing of what things are and yeah, what things are. Okay. This is actually the first book that I purchased. And this is and then this actual book is the second book that I purchased. So after I read this book, I was able to go back and read this book. I found this book to be very confusing for my first very first book. And then after this book I got um Raymond's I'm sorry, Dr. Buckland's first the complete book of witchcraft the complete book of witchcraft was the third book that I purchased and then she has Margaret Murray Gerald Gardner Sybil Leake and I do not have my fourth book that was by Sybil Leake So these are a list of good books. References. More books. This is called Creative Stars. Using astrology to tap in tap your muse. And basically, it's a really great book. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of information. But here, it tells you what the symbols are for each sign, what the planet is in the symbol, and then discuss the planet, the rulers, and what it means. So you'll be able to understand astrology extremely easy if you don't already understand it this book will help you a lot traditional witchcraft for the seashore in this book I'd like to share um, this book talks about macrame and knot making and what the knots are for Cat's Cradle and Witch's Ladder, Wood Carving, Witch's Balls, Patchworking, and this book is Witchcraft and Practical Magic. Now, I love this book. It was quite an investment. I remember it being very expensive, much more than the price that was even on the book, but I wanted it at the time. And this tells you all about how to make a robe and magic casket. But you, there's all kinds of books out there, and you can easily find books all over the place that'll teach you how to make things. So if you're feeling like you're not connected or you're not inspired, 
Just look in one of these books, you'll be able to find all kinds of amazing, amazing things. Like today, I'm not feeling very well. And what I like to do is get out my books and um, find things that'll make me feel better. And this is how to make a storage pouch. This is Lady of the Night. And this teaches you how to make a storage pouch. Let me zoom out. And, and a besom. How to make a besom. And in this Magical Gardens book that I just also got as a gift, this tells you easily how to grow a grass garden so you can grow your own magical tools. Grass gardens are very easy and everyone can grow a grass garden. I'm seeing now that my flash just went off so I'll um, try to make this quick. This probably, I probably am going over a long time but this tells you about um, how to make pinnacles for blessings and for banishings. Blessings Banishings. Blessings. Banishings. And this book is a really great book. Like tells you all about Himalayan salt rocks. How to use them magically. What they're for. How to use them in each room. And then how to work with them. With your chakras. clairvoyance, how to find the objects, how to program your crystals, feng shui and dowsing, healing, magic. And then the last book that a lot of people probably don't have in their collection because they don't like the title. I know I was one of those people. But this is a great book. Here you'll find all about ritual bath. This is a great book. Thank you so much for joining me here at Witchcrafton. Again, my name is Aquarius. I will leave a link to my channels below. I have started a new art channel. I haven't been feeling very well, so I haven't put anything on my channel for a week, but I will um, soon. And thank you so much for joining us here at Witchcrafton. Um, blessed be. Peace.